Good evening, tubers. Evening vlog. Uh, I haven't really been up to much today, apart from it being payday and paying bills. Hate paying bills, but it's got to be done. Uh, what else have I done today? I finished a falcon bike that I was working on. Uh, the rear gears still aren't functioning properly, but the uh, cause of that is a a uh, faulty rear derailleur. It's a bit bent and twisted, and I didn't realise until I was setting the gears up, or trying to set the gears up. So uh, I'll change that tomorrow. I've got it listed up on eBay, but I'll change that before the bike gets collected, if it sells. It's only a ten-minute job just to swap the derailleur and reconnect the cable, so... Might do that without splitting the chain. I don't like splitting the chains unless I have to, because I always break my chain splitting tools. I have a habit of doing that for some reason. Um, been to QDs and bought some more tubs for the Lego. There's videos on that on the, or will be on the uh, Lego channel, which is the Brickmat Thirty. So if you stumble across this channel and like anything Lego, then search my other channel, the Bricknut 30, and I will get round one day to adding it to this channel as a featured channel. One day, when I remember. Um, what else? No, I don't think I've really done anything else today. In and out of flat and up and down them stairs like a fiddler's elbow all day. Uh, watching wildlife. Not just him. <laughs> it's like every time I get the cat, get the cat out. <laughs> well, I could get the cat out, but I don't think I'll make very good videos trying to use the cat as a camera. There's only one place I can stick a USB cable, and I don't think he'd like that. Anyway, every time I get the camera out. Out comes Mr. Kitty here. That's what I was trying to say originally, anyway. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Wildlife. Yeah, despite being near enough in the town centre, we do get a, a variety of wildlife, a small variety of wildlife, anyway. Uh, since I've lived here, I have seen mice in the fat ball feeders out back, on one of the uh, elderly ladies' sort of bird tables, bird feeding areas. She's got a few things she hangs from the bushes, and there's a bird ta There's actually two bird tables out there. There's one up the far end, up at that end of the block, and there's one this end. I'm not sure if it's actually owned by Victory Housing, who owns the block of flats, or if they are owned by the elderly ladies at the bottom. Ooh, pardon me. A hiccup and a burp. A hiccup followed by a burp, I should say. Um. Yeah, the feeders do attract a squirrel. Do have a grey squirrel that visits. And uh, squirrels are my favourite animals. That's pretty much the only reason I've got two um, nut feeders out the back. Well. The birds eat from them probably more than the squirrel does, but I know the squirrel has been at them because I've found lids um, chewed off, and on one of my old feeders, he even chewed the bottom off because I wired down the lid so he couldn't get it off with some fence and wire, and he decides to chew the bottom off so everything fell out at the bottom. <clears throat> Smart little buggers, I'll give him credit there. Uh, so now I leave the tops off. One of these days, I will invest in one with a metal bottom and metal lid, so the little bugger can't do that. Uh, what else have I seen around? Various birds. We have pigeons. We've had get crows, seagulls. Five miles from the coast, and we get seagulls. Uh, I've seen blue tits, great tits, robins. Oof, all sorts. Of, I've even seen a month jack deer walking 
at the front there, up along the um, wall where my scrap trailer is. That was 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, last summer. Yes, I've seen a, you do get a variety of wildlife around here. Oof. Okay, that's the wildlife subject dealt with. Uh, upcoming projects, not a lot. Hopefully, tomorrow, which will be Friday the 30th, I can't actually remember if there's 31 days in April or 30. <laughs> no, nope, it'll be the 1st of May. Blah. 1st of May tomorrow. Friday, 1st of May. Uh, I had a bit of a brain fart there because I couldn't remember if April had 30 or 31 days. I should know that at my age. Um, yeah, tomorrow I should be getting some more computers the same guy I got the last lot from. Uh, the computer shop has got some more they want collected, so hope he said he should be doing it tomorrow morning, so tomorrow lunchtime or tomorrow afternoon I should have some more. Hopefully not as many as last time, because that was good exercise going up and down two flights of stairs with a computer at a time, and there was 28 of them. wouldn't have been so bad, but it was only me. There was no one else to help. <laughs> uh, got a few things up on eBay. Uh, sold the Claude Butler bike frame I had on eBay. Which is, sorry, Neva. Currently sitting in the bedroom. Couldn't be bothered to... Uh, keep the frames, so yeah, this is on eBay and someone wanted to know what the processor was so I had to come in here and take it out so I could give them the numbers and whatnot. Yeah, that's my blue racing bike frame that I've had stored at Mum's for a while and I brought it back here recently to try and sell but it's now on its third attempt on eBay and still no takers so far Got my giant Tarago down there, which is a nice frame. I did want to build it up, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm be bothered now because I've got my Claude Butler out on the land and <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, there's the black Claude Butler frame. It's a nice frame. I do have the um, Dragon Dropout for this frame. I've done for the other two on the bed, and um, someone offered me uh, £20 including postage so I said yeah that's fine so I put up a buy it now on my ad on eBay and they went along and clicked it so at some point in the very near future preferably when I can get over to Mum's because I'll have to print a My Hermes courier label off at hers because I still have no ink for my printer uh, so that'll probably be done either Sunday, if I get to go over, or at some point next week. Mm, that actually reminds me, I think my items would have ended by now. Um, I'm actually hoping, going back to computers, that with anything I get tomorrow there might be the odd memory modules left in the PC I could do with a top up of some memory because uh, the last lot I got there was only a two loose sticks I think two or three loose sticks every computer was empty of memory and empty of um, hard drives which was understandable for data protection and whatnot I don't think computer shops can actually dispose of computers with hard drives in any way. Mm, there's nothing that beats a ice cold cola. Mm. That reminds me, I've got to take my pills. 
Well, I can find my pills, that is. I did throw them up here. Ha! Nope, I never took pills until I was diagnosed diabetic, and then, uh, of course, I had no choice but to learn. Never even learnt to take pills until two years ago. And now I can do three together in one go. I know there's people out there that could probably take more pills in one go. But I've got to take three different pills in the morning, so now I just bung all three in my mouth and take a gulp of drink and down they go. Um, paid for two games for this today. And that was Moonwalker and Road Rash 2. And I got an email from eBay earlier saying they had been dispatched, so they should arrive Saturday, I hope. I just hope they've used their brains and put them both games in the same uh, package and not two separate packages. Because I, um, that's the other thing I did today. I packed up some parcels that had to be posted and posted those off and I wrapped up two packages only to realise when I was writing down the address on another one it was for a dinky Volvo that I had over there in the Maroon Jaguar uh, that um, it was the same person that bought both but instead of saving money on postage and waiting they just decided to buy both separately and pay for both separately and I didn't realise that they were the same or bought by the same buyer until I'd wrapped them up and gone to wrap up or gone to write the address for the second car and realised they were the same so I just wrote out one address in the end and taped both boxes together securely so I know what the mail and service can be like so I did tape it pretty securely Sorry, friend on Facebook's been waiting for an answer for a while, so... Uh, this is my second attempt at a vlog, actually, this evening, because uh, the first time round I'd fluffed up my words more times than I cared to count, and then I got phone calls, and... For some reason, no speakers over there like to pop randomly. So I might actually unplug them. I don't know why, I don't know if it's interference from something, or, I don't know. It's making me, <laughs> making me a bit nervous that they might just go bang one day. Yeah, as I was saying, I got pretty distracted earlier and fluffed up my words more times than I care to count. So I just decided to delete the video footage and start again. Yep, can't think of anything else at the moment. <clears throat> eh, let's have a look on eBay, shall we? Yeah, David Cameron. Not going to say what I think of him on camera, just because of all the swearing that it involves. <laughs> He's not my most favourite person on the planet. And it's not just because he's a conservative, it's just because I think he is a wanker, basically. I don't like him. <clears throat> but uh, I do know a conservative in town, and I do speak to, me, to him on the Facebook groups about our town and our history, and he's a decent enough bloke, you know, so... I don't hate people just because they support a certain party. But uh, I'm not going to go too deep into politics on my channel because I like to talk about politics on areas where it's meant to be spoken about. Like political Facebook groups, for example. I don't really like to drag it in 
on my videos if I can help it, unless it was showing up like that. Okay. It looks like some items have finished. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's the Falcon mountain bike. I can just... Uh, um, yeah, perfectly working. It was just a frame when I got it. Well, it was a frame with the forks. There was nothing else. No crank. I don't think. No, there wasn't no crank, no bottom bracket, no drains, no nothing. I've put them all on. Ooh, the coke is really giving me gas. Uh, but like I said, the only issue is with the uh, rear drain. <coughs> Looks absolutely fine in the photo. If you look at it from behind, you can see it's all bent and twisted. And I'm guessing that's the reason the um, gears are not shifting as they should. So, I will uh, take that off. If I get a chance tomorrow and the weather's fine, I'll do it tomorrow. But, uh, I think a £20 start bid is fair for that. There's uh, <coughs> some marks there and there. The worst of the marks, anyway. And I'd like to li be honest with my listings, so uh, I do photograph anything like that. There's my giant Tarago mountain bike frame. That's actually got ten watches on it. I actually would have thought the racing frame would have sold by now, although it's got five watches on it this time, <coughs> which is the most. I've relisted the uh, Maestro cars that are over there because it's been well over a week. No word from the buyer, no message. The case that automatically opened against them has uh, has um, <coughs> um, uh, bloody hell gone on for three days ish, and they haven't replied to that, so I just relisted it. They've lost their chance now, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I've got all that posted. I've got two items left to post. I think I'll do one, another one tomorrow. <coughs> well, this, someone's bought a PC from me. Ooh, they spent five pounds. I really bought that one. Ah. Uh, They haven't paid yet, so do they want to collect? Well, I'm soon enough they want to collect. <coughs> Can I view all the details? No, it's not going to let me. So the only way I can find addresses is if I send payment details. Oh, they're in Walcott, Norfolk. Oh, they're not far from me then. They're literally six, seven miles from me, so that'll probably probably be. Yeah, I'll put my false teeth in, I think. It'll probably be uh, a collection. Which is good, because that will save on postage. I mean, I can post it if they want, but uh, I will message them later on and um, see what they want to do. It's entirely up to them. And the Mavic Wheel has sold £11. A pound more than what I put it up there. And they've paid. Good, good. That's another one I can arrange. <coughs> it's tempting to put that £10 across, though, in my bank account, but uh, I actually need to leave it in there. Because I've still got those two laptops to pay for. Uh, oh, there's two watches on my bike now. Yay! <coughs> I don't think people really mind about condition too much, so long as it's not too bad. So long as it all works and as it should. 
Well, it might not work as it should at the moment, but it will when I've finished it. It's just that I was setting the gears up today because I went and bought the gear cable for it and uh, didn't realise until I went to set the gears up that the derailleur was all on the screw and bent and wobbly and loose and it's knackered really. I'm just going to take it off and scrap it. Uh, I did try straight and straight. Oh, for crying out loud. Mm -hmm, yeah. I did try to straighten the damn thing out, but uh, that didn't work. So off it comes and on with a new one. I do have one on a frame down there that I can take off and use. I hope. I will check that before I do take it off. But if not, I've got plenty in the box in the cupboard through there. For some reason, Nemo is really hovering around me at the moment. Ah, maybe he wants some food in his dish. But I like to feed him as late as possible so he doesn't decide to try to wake me up at five o'clock in the morning wanting his breakfast. <laughs> I've actually noticed since I've started to feed him sort of last thing at night, he doesn't wake me up during the night. Bless him. I actually don't know his proper age. I've had him about six years. And he was, I think, two or three years old when I first got him. So, he's starting to get on a bit, I suppose. That must make him at least eight years old, I expect. Doesn't it, you old git? <laughs> he's lovely. I've never met a cat that actually loves his cuddles like he does. He loves it. Any strange person could walk through that door and all he'll want is for them to pick him up and cuddle him. <laughs> I ain't kidding. Doesn't matter who it is, he'll go to anyone that come through that door. You know, I've had repair engineers come through the door, I've had other visitors come, come into the flat and all he wants is cuddles from everyone. <laughs> He is such an, an attention-seeking cat. But he's lovely. He's actually pretty well behaved as well. I've had chicken bones sitting on a plate. Left over from dinner. He's in the kitchen. All night. And he hasn't touched them. Actually, in fact, since I've owned him, he's very rarely touched anything. Like that, that I've left on plates out there odd few times that I could probably count on one hand. No, actually I know I could count the times he's done it on one hand. Uh, but he does love his chicken. I always have to share any chicken or fish. Mm. Pardon me. If I get fish from the chippy, you know, like a bit, bit of a nice cod, I'll always get a large one, so I have enough to share with my kitty here, and enough for myself. I do share quite a lot, I'm not, you know, I don't just give him one little piece and tell him to clear off. He does get a good treat. I wouldn't say he's spoilt, because I don't actually get fish and chips from the chip shop often. Maybe once a fortnight once or once a month something like that just depends what I'm in the mood for <clears throat> but I had some takeaway chicken tonight for dinner as a treat and he got his fair share I didn't give him the spicy wings bits though because I didn't think he would actually eat the spicy wings I didn't think that would do him much good either so I just gave him the plain chicken He loves it. Right between his ears like that. He absolutely loves it. Doesn't, like most cats I've come across, he doesn't like his tummy being rubbed too much. He might take a swipe at your hand or a nibble at your hand. And he doesn't like, even little soft pokes like this will wind him up. But see? <laughs> he doesn't like, doesn't like it. Even though I'm only touching his fur, that is all I'm doing. Oh no. 
Oh, no, he's actually nuzzling my hand. He's in a good mood tonight, then. Sometimes I'll do that and he'll bite my hand. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what the heck did I do? I was only poking your fur, touching your fur. But no, he doesn't like his tummy being rubbed. Between the ears, under the chin, and down the back. And he's uh, molting like a mofo at the minute, getting his summer coat. Hmm, anything else I can chat about? I don't I'll think of something if I put the camera down. No, not off the top of my head, not at the moment. For some reason Nemo's actually staring at the shelves, just staring. <laughs> He'd get up there if I give him a chance. He gets up here. He'll sit there and sometimes go to sleep. If I actually move that box of Lego, he'll uh, sleep on that pad of lined paper. Which annoys me, because he knocks all my instructions over. But, uh, actually speaking of, what I'm planning to do is find some cheap ring binders or something that I can uh, put all those in. And then I could stack the ring binders up on the shelf. I'll probably look a lot tidier and keep them protected as well. I've got one and a bunch of poly pockets, so I could, when I can be bothered, make a start. When I can be bothered, it's a, it's a tedious job to do something like that. So you sort of got to get motivated to do it. But there's the folder. It's got some other documents in it, which I can move to the folder underneath the blue one. And that'll give me that ring binder, which I could probably get several in that, actually. Uh, there's my dinner. USA fried chicken. Not a bad place in town. I wouldn't say it's the best joint in town, but it's definitely not the worst. Uh, oh, pardon me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what he's wanting his dish topped up. Yeah, there's food in his dish, but if you can see the bottom of the dish like that, he's got to have it topped up. It seems to be a cat thing. As soon as they can see the bottom of their dish, they want it topped up. <laughs> see what I have to put up with? Gets in me why? No, that doesn't bother me. Uh, actually, going back to the computers, if I get any tomorrow, so I suppose it all depends whether um, the guy picks them up or not. Uh, so it's all if, ifs, buts and maybes at the minute. Uh, I would like some older machines in there, if possible. I mean, yes, some newer ones wouldn't be bad, because I could obviously get a few quid for the parts. Let's have a bit of light on the subject. I wouldn't mind another sort of old case like that gateway. Even if it's got XP um, hardware in it, like an XP motherboard, I can go on eBay and uh, probably buy an old motherboard. What I plan to do with one I've seen on eBay if I can get it. You know, someone else might bid closer to the time, or if I bid, I could get out bid closer to the time. You never know. eBay can be a funny thing. I'll uh, stand both those computers up, mate. Can't rem one thing that's worrying me is I can't remember if I put it's got no IO shield with this one in the um, description. I hope I did. Uh, but before I forget, I'll put, and to keep dust off that socket, I'll uh, put the processor back in and put a dab of uh, thermal paste on it and put that back together so the bar won't have to worry about that. I don't know, he might have been the one that messaged me and asked me what uh, processor it ran. 
because uh, all I knew at the time when I wrote the description was um, that it was a dual core, Intel dual core. Can you people going past? Oh well. Not surprised. It's a th uh, Thursday night. I do like doing these random vlog videos, you know, talking about the random things I've been up to, which usually isn't a lot. Uh, I was at Mum's yesterday. Tumble dryer is still working fine, it's not squeaking at all. Um, so, yeah. Pardon me, again. Sort that box out. I don't know what to do with all the um, laptop power supplies yet. There's quite a few in there, so I really need to sort that out and go through it. It's like with those um, racing bike forks, I'm not sure. I might get them in view. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I could clean them up a little as best I could and try them on eBay at a cheap price. They didn't cost me nothing, they were given to me, so... I've got to put some ink on my shopping list at some point for this. As it works fine, apart from the fact I've got no ink for it. It's finally ran out. Typically it worked fine when I was doing all the tests, but uh, decided to run out when I wanted to use it. <laughs> printed the test page, it printed fine, I printed, oh, did a copy using a scanner and it printed the copy out fine. Go to print my Hermes carrier label, didn't print it. <laughs> Which is typical. It's obviously if I've got the genuine Lexmark cartridges, it's going to cost an arm and a leg. I don't know why I have the camera pointed up there. Uh, you can get remanufactured cartridges that will uh, fit that, which are a lot cheaper. I think it's about fourteen pounds for a pair on eBay. Mm, they do well. Obviously, companies you know like Lexmark would tell you not to use them and to use their own, but naturally they'll tell you that because theirs are more expensive, and they want you to buy from them. But uh, my mum uses um, non-branded cheap ink cartridges in their Epson, and it's perfectly fine. I've never known anyone to have any problems. Not sad. Oops, we've clicked over. I wasn't watching the clock, but as I was saying, I've never known anyone to uh, have ink problems with their printers from using cheap branded ones. May not register in the printer, and I know you have to fiddle around sometimes to get the printer to recognise them, but... As far as actually working and printing is concerned, I've never known anyone to have an issue. <gasps> oh, bloody hell. Do you know what I'm yawning for? Oh, why is it every time I pick the camera up, people message me? <laughs> That's the bloody... There it is. <laughs> Silly emoticons. Classic car! 
love to run a classic car one day. Oh yeah, it's May Day bank holiday weekend. Another bank holiday weekend here in the UK. Stupid bank holiday weekends. Blah, pardon. Nah, 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 nah. Why has it suddenly stopped scrolling? Come on. Oh, that's why, because the plug-in has crashed. Stop the plug-in. I don't know how the plug-in crashed just for me, bloody. Stop the script as well. Go on. i got to reload that page. I'm surprised it hasn't asked me to reload the um, YouTube page. Right, I don't need to be on eBay anymore. Uh. <gasps> uh, I have to end the video soon. What's the time on? Almost 5 to 11, I wonder, wonder I'm yawning. Whoops. to invest in some Lego as I've been spending money on other hobbies. I haven't given the Lego hobby much attention apart from buying the drawers. But I uh, haven't, well, bought a job lot of Lego recently from someone on Facebook which uh, arrived in the mail yesterday morning. Tell you a small sort of job lot just to carry a bag like that bag of connects on the sofa full. But uh, I've not bought any sets or anything recently. Fair. Bits of chicken or something dropping out of my teeth. Do you like my big tub down there that I bought? They're actually handy for all sorts of things, and you can get them in most sort of department stores. And I've got, we've got a QD store in town, and that's where I get mine from. They're not badly priced, really. That was £3.29, I think, for this 24 litre tub. Let's have a look. Well... Oh. Three twenty dollars. And those drawers, as you can see, were three ninety nine each. But uh, they're pretty handy for all sorts of things. Um, you can put them in your workshop to sort all your nuts and bolts and screws and whatever else you've got in your workshop, you know? Rather than just having random tubs dotted here, there and everywhere. As drawers like these ones, these are 250 in QDs. Those are 149 in QDs. And there's so many different styles you could get. You could probably find loads of other styles on eBay ones like this, because these, these drawers are actually quite deep. You've got little ones. And Even if you're at your arts and crafts, they're good for that, for your pens and pencils and paints and whatever else you use. If you're into 
I don't know, textiles like sewing and whatnot. You can store all your buttons and stuff in them. All sorts of uses for these. You can put one in your bathroom to store bathroom stuff in. Uh, really, there's the cat's tail getting in the way. I'm sure he gets jealous over the camera. Because <laughs> he only ever does this when I've got the camera up. Uh, anyway, yeah. There's all sorts of things you could use them for. You know, if you're a carpenter, you can sort all your nails into these drawers and screws, glues, in the bigger drawers at least. Uh, and then the other sort of fixings you might use as a carpenter. Perhaps tools. You can get some tools in some of these drawers. Just the uses for these drawers and containers is just endless. So much you could do with them. And I'm just using them for me Lego. Some of these down in the shed for the bike parts I've got would be um, pretty damn useful and all. There's the little tripod I use. But uh, when I'm making a vlog like this, and I don't really need the tripod because I hold the camera anyway, because the closer it is to me, the clearer my voice is. My accent doesn't usually get any clearer, but the clearer my voice is to hear anyway. I'm surprised I haven't had any comments on YouTube about my accent yet. I can't understand a word you're saying. You ought to hear, cause you ought to hear us uh, mums when um, mum's partner, my stepdad, get going. Because he's from Watford, down near London. So he's got sort of a London accent. And we take the piss something chronic out of each other's accent. Because it's so, so different. Hello. Stop messaging me! Mm, Robins. Speaking of arts and crafts, someone's made a big old spider. I had watches, so I'll probably read this back tomorrow. Ooh, right. Can't think of anything to talk about now. I've got to wrap that wheel up, so I've got to get some bubbly wrap. No point in getting the bubbly wrap yet, because I haven't got any why of printing the um, postage labels yet. So there's no point in me booking that yet. Uh, 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 uh. The only reason I send things like bike wheels and frames via my Hermes is because it's a lot cheaper than sending them with um, Royal Mail's parcel force. A lot cheaper. Can't remember what it cost me, it said the other wheels now. I think it was five pounds something. I think. And that bike frame I got isn't much heavier than that, so it's probably going to cost about the same. So 
also I do need to leave at least ten pounds in my PayPal. Actually, come to think of it, I might, might, a big might, have enough to pay for those laptops. You can't see my password. No, 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 no. Oh, I've got killer heartburn now. I had a chicken and mushroom slice against this chicken and mushroom slice. Oh, not quite enough. I haven't got any in my bank account that can make it up either. <laughs> you bitch. Oh, well. I won't be doing that tonight then, will I? Um, yeah, I had a gangster's chicken and mushroom slice. Bloody lovely slices they make. But for some reason, pastries do like to give me heartburn. I suppose drinking the Coca Cola doesn't help either. £23.24. Right. Would have had more than that if it weren't for bloody PayPal's fees. But the fees are handy. So I do use PayPal to buy with as well as sell. So I don't mind paying some, you know, the fees just to ensure I have the buyer protection when I need it. I haven't needed it yet, but you never know. Touch wood. Touch the desk, it's all nice wood. Touch wood, I don't want to talk that up. It's not, a, you know, it's not a problem bloody opening up a case because you haven't received an item from eBay or whatever. But it's just the drag of having to. Because someone couldn't be bothered to post it or decided they'd be an asshole and scam you. Here we go again. <sighs> I need a wee and I can't be bothered to go. These are the, um, the batteries I use in the camera, the Energizer. Well, I've got two pairs that look just like these and I've got a different pair. And I was they're energizer, but they look different. I've got different pattern on them. But I assume it might be down to the milliamps hour rating. This is a 1300. These are 1300s. I don't know what they are in the camera at the moment. But they're all silver, the ones I've got in the camera at the minute. I've got another pair of these charged up, ready to go. So, uh, yeah, if you've got one of these silly little... Uh, standard cameras. All it is what I use is basically a um, better version of this. That's a Practica and I know that's got... I can't remember what the pixel is on that. Pixel rating? But, uh, you just put a couple of triple A's in there and away you go. This is really what, I've, what I'm using to make these videos but uh, A better version. This is a 14 megapixel one. I know this one's smaller than that. I haven't got any decent batteries to uh, put in it. That's what my sister left here. She's not. She's been here a couple of years or more, and she hasn't said anything about it. It's just sat here on the desk or on the shelves over there. So I've just left it there in case this one shits the bed, then I've got at least something I can take photos with to put stuff on eBay. But yeah, that's the sort of point-and-shoot camera I'm using. 
which is why I have to use those batteries. There's no built-in charger for them, so I can't charge them. Which is why I would love one day to get a proper camcorder. One day. <laughs> Probably in the near future and not the distant future. I watch all sorts of random shit on YouTube. EEV blog is one of my favourites. Uh, UXW Bill is a favourite. Bill's T Max is a favourite. Vlogging Life is a favourite. And Jim Lindenus, Lind Lindenus. I don't know if you pronounce <laughs> his. Uh, last name, he's a, uh, I like watching his videos repairing the old radios, but this one has dragged on for so long, he's now on video 48 of the same radio, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, I haven't been watching him because I think he's, the videos are crap, it's just, I've got bored watching the same thing, so that's not Jim's fault, it's my fault. Or the problem's me, not Jim, I should say. Oh, B. Bishop PCM's world is a... Knew there was a video from him I hadn't seen. So that's something I'll have to watch later. OLPC XO-110, I'll have to watch that later. One Lonely Farmer, I do like watching his random videos. Who else have I got? Recommend so many bloody channels. That's all it is. The like recommended channels. Julian Illet, Eilert. I'm not sure if it is Illet or Eilert. Something like that. He's another one that I watch occasionally. Several I actually do just watch occasionally. But, uh, I do have my top favourites that I sort of watch religiously, so to speak. And Sky Kelmer is a does some excellent mechanic videos. So if you're ever looking for a mechanic, you can always try Sky Kilmer. In his late, he does a live Q and A session every Saturday morning, and. Uh, his latest video is fixing burning smells on your car. Put it out with a hose pipe. That'll fix any burning smell. Ah. More recommended channels. YouTube mixes. Boogie2988. Do like his Francis persona that he puts on. And I will admit, when I first came across Boogie2988, I actually thought Francis was actually him and not a persona that he was putting on. <laughs> I went till I subscribed to his channel and then start seeing all these other videos. I was like, oh, it's a persona. Still bloody good anyway. <laughs> That's the sort of thing, the sort of channels I would subscribe to if they entertain me. I'll subscribe. If they're about an interest that I have, well, that's the same interest as me, such as anything electrical or technical or mechanical, I'll subscribe. If I like what they, the content they put out, of course. Ooh, he's got several videos. I need to do some catching up for, with Boogie, from the look of it. Boogie to boom boom. <laughs> I'll try that again. Boogie two nine eight eight. I do like his Francis. Funny character, especially when Francis is raging. So I do like. Uh, um, I'll start again with that. I do like a bit of urban exploration, but. Uh, unfortunately, most of the derelict places in my town have been demolished. There's one left that I might do one final trip to.
one day. Although it is pretty hazardous in there, especially in the house that's on the same side. So, possibly not. At least it wouldn't be a good idea for me to do it on my own, but if I can get hold of a friend that wants to come up as well. Yeah, I do watch some of these videos. I don't, I don't know why, I just like looking around old buildings that have been empty for ages and started to decay. I don't know why it interests me, it just does. You know, Nemo's got the sneezes. Right, well, I think I've gone on long, long enough. So I'm going to turn the camera off, and uh, I'll probably render this up for YouTube tomorrow because it's getting too late, and I don't think I know what planet I'm on, let alone day of the week at the minute. My mind just seems to be going, <laughs> getting tired. So yeah, I'm going to turn the camera off, and. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you hated it, hit the dislike button and rant at me in the comments if you want to. Entirely up to you. And until next time, talk to you again soon.